So what's up guys, um, today I've got one of the most important lessons I've ever learned in my life, right? So <clears throat> this has been really important just to whatever success per se I've achieved, which isn't much, but um, it's a lot from what I had, you know, originally, I could even ever expect for myself, right? Like as a teenager, I was always just like gaming and stuff and I, I didn't really have a purpose. I wasn't really going anywhere, right? And when people ask the question, where can you see yourself in five years? I'm like, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But um, something that's really helped me to develop myself and improve and um, nearly finish writing my first uh, book, which is gonna be out soon, by the way, really exciting. Uh, is facing resistance and embracing resistance. So you see this in a lot of uh, a lot of books, actually. I mean, a, a lot of books have this underlying message. A lot of philosophies, such as Stoicism, have this underlying message through the words of uh, Ryan Holiday's book, "The Obstacle Is the Way." That's a really good way of putting it. Or um, the the War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, I think, is another book which uh, he specifically talks about writing. He says that resistance is the ultimate light in the tunnel that we have to follow in order to accomplish what we're setting out to do. So I think I saw a video by uh, Will Smith, I think it was actually, one of my favorite actors, um, but he gave the example of skydiving and it really, uh, and people's, you know, common fear about it, uh, with resistance and how it's very beneficial. So this really will show to you what I mean by being, um, getting benefit out of resistance. So he said that when someone knows they're going to go skydiving, initially it's very exciting, right? But in the coming moments, it gets a little more nerve-wracking. You know, you start to realize that you're going to be jumping out of a freaking plane. <laughs> um, so, leading up to the moments, you know, you get in the plane, he was saying he's flying up, he's going to 14,000 feet, I think it was. And it starts to become a bit more real. The resistance and the, uh, the discomfort starts to become much more in your face. You realize, holy shit, I'm about to jump out of a plane and I could die. <laughs> so that's resistance. That's a very clear example of resistance. So in saying that, um, this resistance, Will Smith was explaining, only lasts until the moment he jumps out of the plane. The moment he jumps out of the plane, all that resistance is gone. <clears throat> but in his head, he was, uh, he was somehow, you know, deluding himself into thinking that the resistance was in the act of jumping, when the act of jumping itself was the release of all this resistance and is the most <clears throat> fun part, right? So our lives are actually begun and the more fun and the more real and the, they're actually lived on the other side of resistance. So in following the obstacle and following whatever resists you, you're going to find greater satisfaction in that. And that's probably one of the key lessons I've learned in my 22 years of being on this earth, right? You have to follow resistance. Resistance is there for you and it's like a blessing because you know where to go. Don't see resistance and get pessimistic about it damn it, I have this resistance and I want to compensate for it by seeking the opposite. No, look at the resistance and every opportunity you can, which should be every single time, face that resistance, go after it to the best of your ability. And if you're living in that life, just like I've said in another video, you're going to get in an upward spiral, right? It's very difficult to um, <clears throat> go in that, in that discomfort and go in that resistance if you've never even done that before in your life because you've never had that positive reinforcement of doing that. So objectively, you might understand that uh, eating something healthy is going to make you feel better and thus you're going to follow that resistance of eating something healthy which is going against your current nature to make you feel better and, and then and be, get more productive and feel happier, etc., etc. But you never know that because you don't have the reference experience, even though you objectively know this is the best course of action. So it's by taking that step and following resistance in any form, which is going to allow you to understand that um, hyperbolic discountment, which is basically uh, you know the avoidance of resistance and basically procrastination, is is where the answer is going to lie. And the reason I'm so advocating of things like cold showers or or just doing very small but seeming you know seemingly insignificant things of your life, but on a regular basis, the reason I am so um, 
adamant that these are critical to the nature of human beings is because with these small discomforts that we do on a consistent basis, even if we're not living up to them in a bigger sense, whether it be progress in our career or even exercise, by doing these small things and being very consistent about them, you're reinforcing that on a micro scale. And you know, through the through books of the compound effect and the, the slight edge, we've seen that the very small things are what cultivate into the big change. So I find that the best way to, to if, if you're trying to make a big change in your life, you have to smart, you have to uh, start in the smallest way possible and, and find very subtle habits in your life that are very consistent in their nature, like, I don't know, taking a shower or, or just doing something that you do in the morning and find a way to implement some sort of resistance and discomfort and, and go towards that in these small habits in order to, to better understand how, you know, it's, it's going to be positively reinforcing this habit for you in, in bigger aspects. I hope that makes sense. So, so that's the topic. There are two books you can read on this that I really recommend. So again, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday, which is a book heavily influenced by Stoicism, the philosophy, one that is greatly um, advocating of discomfort as a, as, a key, as a key gateway to happiness and fulfillment in life. And the other is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. This is a book that I go back to you know, twice a year just to read, to reinforce this idea because it's so key. And, and that's why some of these books are so powerful. And this is why some of them sell so many damn copies because they're so symbolic of human nature. And yeah, so in my 22 years of life, that's probably been the number one key I've learned. So I hope you can take away something from this video at the very least. And if you do have the time, please go and read these books or just read more on the concept of hyperbolic discounting, um, discomfort, and the benefit of following through this resistance that is present to us throughout every waking moment of our lives. And this is something I'm really going to explore in my upcoming book, um, which should be released sometime in early July. So thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.